Hello everybody, this is Ms. Campoa. Today I'm going to show you how to log into StudySync two different ways. The first way is over here on the left side, the bookmarks. It's called desertsand.us bookmarks. I click on that. I look for the McGraw-Hill tab. Click on it. And it's going to prompt you to the McGraw-Hill page where you are going to see books that, you, that are by McGraw-Hill. You might have your science book there, your social studies book, and your math book. However, though, I want you to ignore those because right now we are in English class. So we are looking for an English book, and this book is called Study Sync. I'm going to look for the Study Sync spheres. Here they are. I'm going to click on those. And then it's going to take me to another page where, again, I'm looking for the Study Sync spheres. I see it. I click on it. And I'm patiently waiting for my home page. So here I am, I am in the home page. You're going, you're going to be able to see the assignment that your teacher has provided. Now that's one way to log in and that took me about a minute. Now I'm going to show you another way to log in. So the other way is to go through the waffle. This is the waffle. You see them on the right corner? I'm going to click on that. That's going to show me my Google Apps. I want to click on the drive. And then once it takes me to the drive, I want to click on the waffle one more time. I'm going to scroll down. And I'm looking for my McGraw-Hill app right here. Click on it. And again, this is what we saw earlier, where it takes us to the McGraw-Hill page, where we see our different books. I'm not in science class. I'm not in math class. I'm not in social studies class. I am in English class, so I'm going to click on my study sync book. I scroll down, and unfortunately, it's all the way at the bottom. You look for the study sync spheres. You click on it. You wait patiently for the next page. And then again, we look for the study sync spheres. And we should be in our home page. Now, I wanted to tell you one last thing. In your home page, you should see the assignments that the teachers has assigned for you. If you see multiple assignments, that means that your teacher has assigned multiple assignments for the week, or it might be that you have a lot of assignments that are late. So please be mindful of that. You should not have 10 assignments on your homepage. And that is it, everybody. You have a great day.